This is the MADAS Portable 12E. The MADAS Portable was first introduced in around 1931, and I think this particular one is from 1933 or so, from the serial number. It is a simple, electrically driven uh, calculator. That's what the E stands for. And the, uh, tw it's 12E because it has 12 digits in the counter, or in the, re the main register. Yeah, I don't actually have the original lead. That would probably be a bit dangerous as well. But uh, yeah, I have managed to wire it up. So it was made by H.W. Egli in Zurich in Switzerland. And they were made right until the 1960s or so. Uh, and they got more and more uh, automated, but this one is very simple and doesn't have much automation at all. Hans Egli previously uh, produced the Millionaire and the Madas calculators. And this is the successor to that, uh, the MADAS Portable, because it was much smaller than the ordinary MADAS machines before this. And MADAS actually stands for Multiplication, Addition, Division and Subtraction. Or Multiplication Automated Division, uh, Addition and Subtraction. And uh, yeah, it's a simple machine. You can just enter a number. Um, what you've entered is visible here on the uh, input display register. And um, yeah, when you then press this big black button, you activate the engine, the motor, and it adds it to the main register and increments the counter. The keyboard is also cleared automatically so that you can then enter another number and add it. It does not have a separate subtraction button. To subtract, you have to flip this switch from add to subtract. And that uh, subtracts it. If you... Uh, yeah, let me clear the registers with these uh, these buttons here. If you want to uh, do multiplications, then you can, uh, uh, yeah, put this switch down, this button down, that stands for repeat, and now the keyboard will not be cleared automatically. So if you then hold down this button, it adds it uh, continually. You can then uh, shift the carriage and enter the uh, hold the button down until you get the right digit here for the tens uh, multiplication. So now I've multiplied this input number by 36, and the result is up here, of course. 136 times the input. If you hold it down a bit too long and went too far, you can undo that addition by pressing this button here. It's missing its key top, but it is the correction button. So that uh, undoes the addition and undoes the increment of the counter. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, multiplication. You can, by the way, you can shift the carriage uh, not, do, not just with this button at the front, step by step, but you can also release it here so that you can move it uh, freely, any amount. This button here clears the keyboard. You can also do subtraction, I mean division, and uh, that's a little bit more complicated. Let me just uh, shift it all the way to the right. As you can see, it says here with an arrow where you have to uh, enter the uh, dividend and the divisor. You have to start from this column. And um, 
Yeah, so I'll enter this, this number into the main register and clear this, uh, this counter and now I'll enter the, uh, the divisor so I'll do the usual division of 355 divided by 113 uh, the approximation to pi so you have to make sure that to have the repeat on switch this to subtraction and set this switch to division and then press the uh, motor button and what that does is it repeatedly subtracts until the register underflows then you have to press the correction button to undo that last uh, uh, subtraction and shift the carriage and then do this again correction and shift correction and shift correction and shift okay we're at the end now and the result of the division is 3.14159 you may have noticed that I, each time I pushed the button I also pushed the division uh, switch further down. It should, I shouldn't have to do that but it, there's a bit too much friction still in this, uh, in this switch so that it doesn't uh, do it by itself. It should, uh, it should push down automatically but uh, yeah that needs a bit more lubrication I think. So I've, uh, I've told you about all the controls on this uh, machine. There's also this button here on the right. You can remove this and add uh, a, a hand crank so that you can uh, yeah, do this, uh, control this machine manually instead of with the uh, electric motor. And if you do that you'd also have to pull this, this switch here. That, uh, yeah, that disconnects the, uh, the braking system that uh, stops the electric motor each time. Uh, there is one more little secret on, on here and that is uh, if you want to remove the carriage for lubrication or whatever you have to remove this pointer because that's, uh, that blocks it but also there's a, a hidden catch underneath here and to release that catch you push something through this little hole if you push something through the hole that catch uh, gets moved backwards and then you can lift off this carriage it has the, uh, the serial number on the front here together with a nice uh, yeah, nice plaque of uh, H.W. Eagley uh, S.A and uh, yeah so this serial number is 25894 this was the Madas Portable 12E thank you for watching